Hi, welcome to Raven Beak Nature Works. I'm Jamie McDonald and it's January 27th. Just a quick shop update here. We've been working away on this batch of bows and just want to take a minute to show what's heading off. We have a very special batch of bows here uh, heading over to England to the longbow shop and I just want to take a sec, walk through them and show you what's heading overseas. So we have three self bows up first. Uh, we have a beautiful first one named Crispin. 65 pounds at a 30 inch draw. It's got a green malachite stone inlaid for an arrow pass. Black buffalo horn caps with a string and groove. And just a beautiful piece of wood. Started with a bit of reflex. So after tiller, came out just dead straight. Um, very narrow, should be a very fast bow. Uh, and Crispin is named after uh, the patron saint on the day of the Battle of Agincourt. So a very fitting name for a nice yew wood self bow. Up next, we have Karu, and Karu pulls 47 pounds, 29 inches. Real character piece of wood, got some real nice wiggles and bumps. Nice hump at the one top here. Um, it's got a blue lapis stone inlaid arrow pass, and it had one knot hole here, which we dug out and packed with the stone, filled in, looks real sharp. So real character bow, but shoots great. Black buffalo horn caps with the string and groove, no handle. A nice heartwood sapwood, nice colors, but a real beautiful, funky, yet fully functional bow. And Karoo is named after uh, one of the officers on the Mary Rose warship, which sunk. So again, nice fitting name. And the third self bow of the batch is named Modi, pulling 54 pounds at 29 inches. Real nice color. Nice and straight. A couple little wiggles and bumps, but pretty clean piece of wood. Again, the black buffalo horn caps. Blue lapis stone inlaid for the arrow pass. Real nice self bow. And then we have four of the bamboo backed you wood laminate heading as well. So I'll walk through those. Up first, we have Vespula. Uh, 55 pounds at a 29 inch draw black buffalo horn caps, burned arrow pass, both left and right hand for ambidextrous, um, and the root, it's a burned sign of the rune, which means you would, I believe. Yeah, real nice bamboo laminate, nice dark blue handle, 55 and 29. We have a bigger one, Fusca, uh, I believe, which is named after a scorpion, I believe. Um, with a little burn symbol for narrow pass, nice brown leather handle. This one's got the white moose antler horn caps, string and groove. And this one, above and below the handle, has a bit of Celtic knotwork burned on the belly. Looks real sharp. And Fusca's pulling 58 pounds at 30 inches. Third, we have Akela, 50 pounds, 30 inch draw. Bamboo back to you, the black buffalo horn caps, nice brown leather drip, um, and the rune burned for a right handed archer, and the rune on this uh, means bow. So, real nice laminate. And the last one in the batch, we have Clover, pulling 57 pounds at 29 inches. And for this one, the arrow pass is burned as a four leaf clover, a nice dark blue grip white uh, moose antler caps, yeah, real nice laminate, so nice selection, some of the higher weights heading over to the shop there, hopefully complement the collection nice, anyways just wanted to show you what we're heading out, what's heading off here, so they should be there shortly, um, thanks a lot for looking.